folks, welcome to the NetCruiser RC. Okay, we're gonna do a radio test to see does the Noble MB4 have a fast enough protocol speed to match and compete a Samwa or Futaba type radio system where we're down to around four millisecond latency range with the upper end mid-range radios now between four and two seconds actually on the upper mid-range. And this one in the paperwork says 13 milliseconds which would be no better than a Traxxas ready to run radio but I have a feeling that it's a lot better than that because I've tested this on someone else's buggy and I felt like it was very responsive way more than 13 milliseconds so we got to check that I'm gonna set up a high-speed camera system and we're just gonna see with my finger in the shot of twitching the wheel versus how long it takes of the servo respond on each one of these systems and see how do they compare for protocol speed we're going to try and do the latency test now. We're going to start with my control, which is my Sanwa MT4 4H FT mode. Just going to do super slow mo with my uh, Android phone here and try and see what is the actual latency like. So you can see here, here we go. I'm trying super slow mo, which is, I don't know, a million frames per second, something ridiculous. Okay, now we're gonna try the Flysky Noble, and if you don't know about this radio, check out the video in the card here that I'm gonna put up, because you should check out the details and the features of this radio. So we're gonna do a latency test on it now to see does it compare with the Sanwa for speed. Let's do it. Okay, we're in business. We have the Flysky connected, and it seems pretty fast. We'll also get some telemetry data on the screen. So you get to see here the uh, the sensor voltage, the signal strength, the RSSI. Okay, let's see if it really is as fast as they say. That feels way faster than 13 milliseconds. Okay, so here we go in super slow-mo. Sure feels fast to me. We'll have to actually check it on the high speed edit to see because it's unclear to me. Signal lost. Oh, there's another benefit of the flask guys. It tells you signal lost if you shut off the car before signal the lost. transmitter. All right, I just felt like it would be only be fair if I tested a Traxxas ready to run radio so that we know something that is around a 13 millisecond response time is this Traxxas radio uh, fairly standard system. Anyway, we'll get some high speed shots of this. Weird thing is it feels very fast too, like. Hmm, okay, we'll do some high speed shots of this and see what it's like.
All right, so we tested all the radios, tested the Samwa MT4 latency versus the Noble NB4 latency versus the Traxxas TQI latency, and just as I'm doing it, recording it live, and I'm looking back at the footage on the high-speed footage on the phone that I got, um, I did see that the Traxxas is by far the slowest, so there was by far the slowest response time. It's subtle, but it's definitely there, way slower than these two. So I just need to then, in the editor, we'll see how much slower is the Noble, if any, versus the older Sanwa. Now, remember, the Sanwa, if you buy the newest, greatest version, the MT44 or the M17, those are down to 2 and 1 millisecond response time. That is 100% going to be faster than the Noble MB4. But when you're in a, like, under 5 second millisecond response time, feel like that's perfectly adequate for racing. You definitely want to be under 10 milliseconds. I held myself back a long time racing on a Traxxas for many years and not until I switched up to the Samwa did I realize, holy smokes, that latency does make a difference, especially for on-road racing. Uh, on on-road cars I was able to save them a lot quicker. I would be able to do a last minute correction and not hit a barrier versus with the Traxxas or any other ready to run radio system. It's just not quick enough. So that's why you want a high speed radio. RF protocol. The Noble on paper in that manual it says 13 milliseconds. It's way faster than 13 milliseconds. Don't believe that. Uh, most people have been calling it 3 milliseconds but I'll put it in the editor. We'll see if we can figure it out. I'm not sure if we will but we'll be able to tell which one is faster MT4 versus Noble MB4. But if you're looking for the absolute fastest protocol radio, I believe that is a Samwa M17, but you have to spend a lot of money to get that. And I don't think it's worth it. Probably this Noble MB4 is going to be perfectly adequate for speed for most racers. And I really like all the features. The price point is unmatched on what you can get with this radio. If you want to see more about this radio, check out the link in the description and uh, and check out more about this radio. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, Thanks for watching. Shutting down.